Why is Hamas so incalcitrant when it comes to the ceasefire versus hostages deal? The reason is simple. It makes no sense. My name is Sam Bachnin and I'm a columnist in Brussels Morning. With Gaza already reduced to rubble, its population decimated and displaced, and the IDF, the Israeli army, largely out of the strip, why on earth would Hamas accept a ceasefire versus hostages deal? Why would Hamas give up its only remaining card in return for meaningless concessions by Israel? A permanent ceasefire, as far as Israel is concerned, is conditioned on the suicide by Mossad of Yahya Sinwar and the self-immolation of Hamas as the only government of what is left of Gaza. Disarmament, exiled leaders, and assassinations await. In return for what? Israel has nothing to offer except shattered and crippled Palestinian detainees and multi-decadal prisoners. In the meantime, Israel is falling apart in every way. Its dilapidated and overstretched army has lost control of Gaza, and Iran, its proxies, and Hezbollah are on the precipice of joining the fighting, however reluctantly. It is a once-in-a-century opportunity to exterminate the Zionist entity they all seem to believe, however delusionally. Hamas has every incentive to decline a ceasefire and drag the other members of the axis of resistance into the seething cauldron. In the meantime, in the north of the rump state of Israel, Hezbollah is conducting a war of attrition against the Jewish interlopers, colonizers, and settlers as they see them. Israel has learned the hard way and multiply that it is no match for Hezbollah and cannot defeat it militarily. The only cogent strategy is to drive a wedge between the militia and the population. Intra-Lebanese alienation and the equivalent of a sectarian civil war constitute the only viable Israeli strategy when it comes to the Shia Hezbollah. It seems to be working. Hezbollah is constrained not by Israel's futile pinpricks, nor by Iran, its paymaster. It is avoiding escalation, Hezbollah, because increasingly it is losing the battle for hearts and minds, the support of the vegetative state that they have hijacked, Lebanon. This will all end the way that it had ended in numerous previous rounds. Israel will, will withdraw from Gaza, Hamas will regroup and rearm, Hezbollah will await another day, Iran will keep pouring resources into its firewall of proxies ad nauseum. Even the most minimal claims of the Israelis and the Palestinians are perceived by the parties to the conflict as maximal, usurious, and irreconcilable. Increasingly, they are both converging on ethnic cleansing as the solution. It is a zero-sum game, and not Israel's to win.